Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for the outposts you've started was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. So that's what the Ked are up to, transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taken anymore. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy.
Tracking enemy activity. Zones 2, 12, 19. This is a nightmare. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. I'm sorry, Lana. They're just trying to boost our morale. Hey, there's puke on the floor. Help you? Pathfinder Ryder, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkan, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the Chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Well, those families are out of stasis. I know, because we're cutting rations for Apex. My decision's made, Kandros. And now everyone thinks protesting is how we get stuff done. Excuse me. Glad to see you, finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder.
The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Requesting armor cam footage. You're the human Pathfinder. I'm Sid, Vetra's sister. Vetra's told me all about you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. I'll let you get back to work. Pathfinder? Wow. I'm Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. HNS, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over, to places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. Okay, Davis, I'll help you get set up. Great, just place a receiver near an outpost and they'll get our reports. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we are living. Another time. Pathfinder. Cassidy Shaw, I'm Sarah Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. 
He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Okay. Sending the override command. The stasis pod should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. Things will be lean for a while. The new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... Just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. For Jasper K, Griffith G, Pilkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. That's her! This came at a cost. Make sure you cherish what you've got. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Do you have just a minute? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. Building a military outpost so early has been pretty controversial. Kandros approves, but others say it paints the initiative as a conqueror. Every step we've taken in Andromeda has been dangerous. The Initiative needs to defend itself. Very candid. But maybe people need to hear it. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. I read up on the amazing things we've seen, and the Tempest has some incredible views of the cluster. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. What is it? You're out there, facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? The cat seems set in their ways. So it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Thank you for your time. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny. We had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? 
For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of, but I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Sam, it really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck.
Can Still I help you with parts. anything? Damn it. So how'd things go? The materials you found were perfect. If you got more, we'll take it off. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. All right. You can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Who's Jill? She's here in Andromeda? Yep, been awake since the start. Jill's a fertility expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home, I bet 50. I call, the CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. She says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Growing our numbers is paramount to our survival here. Sure, but that's Jill's purpose. I'm not just going to adopt it. See what I did there? I'm not just going to adopt it. I saw. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, I fold. Another one for me then. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but... We have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. That's your flag, everyone. Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. If you welcomed people, you'd have more hands to keep everything running. <laughs> Quite astute. If you'll forgive me, perhaps I could begin with you. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. 
Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. The information you gathered is marvelous. You and your Sam, of course. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I work directly with Sam, refining your field scans into discoveries to benefit the initiative. Hopefully. What fields do you study? Herrick's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math ways. The sterling data you've sent has us running ragged. Addison finally gave us an actual workspace. Keep up the good work, champ. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. I'm glad you could stop by. Who have arrived from the Milky Way galaxy. Thanks. Of course. In the meantime, have a look around. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We, uh, need to explain you. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Thanks. Of course. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our Welcome back. Teams. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Maybe later. No problem. I'll be here whenever you'd like to learn more. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. What do you mean? On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome to be you true. to the Cultural Center. Please have a look around. I hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way galaxy. Welcome to the setup for your Pathfinder Informational VI. I am programmed with all relevant data. However, you 
must identify which information I should prioritize. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. Female, please. Variable set. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be highlighted? Exploration and discovery or first contact with new species? Let's go with exploration and discovery. Variable set. Next, should I emphasize the role of the Pathfinder team or their partner AI? Go with the Pathfinder's team. Variable set. Finally, should I provide career advice for future Pathfinders or an honor of former Pathfinders? List the former Pathfinders. Setup complete. Would you like to keep these settings? It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information, VI. Implementing changes. Top scientists have a few answers. Hey, pause point. Hi, I'm Ian Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the next session. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through the screen. Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's... available, would you? I wouldn't know. Right. Okay, sorry to bother you. Just, uh... tell him I said hi, huh? Ryder, Vetra wanted you to check in when you can.
Got a minute? I'm... Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the Initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oof. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA, or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. In a way, that sounds like my dad. That's not fair. He kept you close. Made sure you and your brother came here with him. And he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still, without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. Scott's old enough to take care of himself. I still feel my sister's my responsibility. I'm all she has. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. Thanks. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. And yet you're on this ship, hurtling through unknown space to who knows where. With Sid. And sure, Andromeda was an unknown. But unknown is better than being tracked down by the Batarian crew you shafted three years ago. Speaking hypothetically, of course. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. With all our outposts, they're spoiled for choice. They might arrive in time to help with the first harvest. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I... Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Let's get everyone fed before we start flower gardens. Fair. But everyone around here has dreams. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. 
Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. The whole expedition might never have launched. Dad knew that. He wouldn't be stalled by minor issues like credits or physics. So I gave the initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if we find Meridian, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are cat. There must be a way to fix them. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? That we should examine the problem objectively? Excuse me. Grief is never easy. But Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. Hope is good, but false hope is unhealthy. I appreciate your support. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. 
And you're taking good care of him. Just remember why you came here too. There is a new alien species on your table. My hands actually shook when I made the first incision. See this bone-like armor? It feels as strong as a Krogan's frontal plate. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. <laughs>